I'm great. How you got? <clears throat> well, this goes without saying, but to get this many media people here in one room, there has to be free lunch afterwards. So <laughs> that'd be the only way I think half of you guys would show up. So, so, so. You know, I haven't I haven't had a chance to see many of you guys in about five weeks, and so, you know, obviously, uh, uh, I would never say this. I actually miss you guys just a, just a little bit. But before you fire away, hey, I want to I want to just make an opening statement. Uh, uh, I'd like to express my gratitude and and sincere uh, uh, heartfelt thanks for all the support uh, that we've received over the last several weeks. Uh, the text the emails, the cards uh, uh, have been countless and they're certainly appreciated and I apologize for those that I have not been able to respond to. Uh, uh, I'd like to be able to do that but uh, I haven't been able to do that yet but uh, um, you know this was a, a health scare for me uh, uh, and I certainly uh, could not thank uh, the KU uh, health system for the uh, uh, care that they gave me the doctors and nurses everybody's just fantastic and and want to thank uh, you know all the supporters and, and and everyone at KU and and primarily I want to thank my coaches and my players that I thought rallied around this and and even though it didn't end the way we all hoped it would have uh, certainly I thought they competed and and, uh, and and gave it their very best when maybe there was a distraction that I certainly would never ever want to occur uh, uh, you know, I've always taught my team to eliminate distractions in the most important time of the year, and here I am. I was one of them, so uh, certainly I hate that and wasn't being able to be there with them. But but uh, uh, it was the right decision, and, and uh, I'm just excited to, you know, get back to work, and I am working, and, and uh, certainly uh, look forward to everything moving forward. So you guys have at it now, and you can ask anything you want. Coach, Except that, Neil, you can't ask that. <laughs> no, go ahead. Coach, I know under normal circumstances, this weekly press conference wouldn't have been a big deal. Um, I know it was mentioned on social media and the floodgates kind of opened about your future and, and kind of where you're at. And uh, Can you just touch on that and how you're feeling and kind of what your routine has been like lately? Well, on Monday, the future was the banquets on Thursday. And, and uh, I was approached saying it'd probably be a good time, good, good opportunity to get before the media, before the banquet, so the banquet's not about your health, which it shouldn't be. It should be about the guys. And I said, that's fine. And so that's how the, 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 the little bit of uh, a firestorm or whatever you want to call it started on, on, on uh, social media. Uh, but there was absolutely nothing to it any more than just to address you guys and, and, and hopefully recap uh, uh, what's transpired and to also look forward to what's getting ready to happen. So, Two part question here for you, Coach. First of all, how are you feeling? How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing. I'm doing well. Uh, I, I'll be honest. I haven't done a lot since since uh, uh, since uh, the Big Twelve tournament, but uh, I'm exercising almost daily. I, I don't know if you guys can believe this. They told me that I need to improve my diet and exercise more. I don't know. I don't know if anybody can believe that. And and uh, I'm actually in the process of doing both, uh, 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 and and been pretty diligent at that. Uh, uh, but but I, f I feel fine. I, I my energy level is is probably back to where it was prior to the episode, but not where it's getting ready to go. I believe. I believe that. I, I think sometimes we don't realize we don't feel well until we actually feel well and know the difference. And and I'm in the process of feeling well again. So so uh, uh, I'm excited about that. And then the second part to that question: Can you unequivocally say you will be back? As a head coach next year, twentieth season here at Kansas. Well, unless uh, the, uh, unless uh, my athletic director, my my chancellor makes a decision uh, 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 to contradict that, that I am one hundred percent positive uh, uh, I will be coaching at the University of Kansas this upcoming season, and hopefully many more after that. Hey, regarding the time off and and having to step away, first, how hard was it, and and, and second, how close were you to? to maybe getting back out there, close at all? Uh, well, second part first, I was told that if, you know, I w the Big 12 tournament was out. There was no way I was coaching the Big 12 tournament, absolutely no way. I thought I would coach against West Virginia, and they laughed at me. And then I said, well, I'll coach the next game, and they laughed at me. 
And then they said, well, maybe you can coach in, you know, two or three weeks. And I said, no, no, I, I, I got to be able to go in five days or whatever. And uh, there was actually talk of, uh, of me coaching in the first round game. Uh, uh, but I was convinced the doctor said there's a better chance if you coach in the first round game, there's a good chance you won't coach the second game. So they, they told me that there was a better chance you coach in the second game if you set out the first game. So I was with the team. I conducted practice. I actually did it with a microphone sitting on a chair. Uh, 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 so, you know, I wasn't active in practice. But uh, 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 before the Arkansas game the day before, there was still a concern of elevate, uh, elevated heart rate. And, and even though you guys know I never get animated and I'm probably the most zen type coach there is in America, uh, 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 the, 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 the risk of my blood pressure elevating was something that they saw as a potential major concern. So th that was eliminated. We had to win the Arkansas game for me to coach in the West Regional. What did you do? I mean, did you watch it on television? Did you stay strapped to a chair then? I, mean, I, 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 I watched it, uh, uh, obviously, from the hospital room, uh, uh, in the, the three games in the hospital room, and, and uh, uh, I watched it uh, uh, from the hotel, the two games in the NCAA tournament, and I kept a, 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 a blood pressure monitor next to me that they actually wanted me to take my blood pressure at times when I would get a little bit animated or a little bit upset because I thought maybe we didn't execute or, or the officials didn't give us a 50-50 call. So, so uh, And I did that, and it was amazing to me uh, uh, the 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 how the body works that uh, uh, they said well just don't get it over a certain number and I actually kept it under that number but I thought the num the number they gave me was a ridiculously high number so I I, I was I wasn't doing quite as well as what I thought I I could do because uh, uh, if I was at the game you know I had some uh, some balance issues too with it and I was at the game you know in, in any emotional outbreak or or strong yell. Or, or what whatever they, they thought could be something that could trigger something that could that, that would be negative and set me back so 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 uh, they were probably right it was the right thing to do even though it happened at the most inopportune time that could ever happen to a coach or a player and you used the word scare a minute ago how, how much did this scare you how, how how serious did it feel for you? How scared were you? Well, I was never scared about uh, 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 that I wasn't I wasn't going to be okay. But, but it was a different feeling. You, you, uh, uh, I'm sure many have had it, but it was kind of like an a, a, a out-of-body type experience that you really don't know what's going on. You have no control on what's going on. So, so it, it, it was something that I'd never experienced before, but it was never to the point where I felt like uh, uh, I was in danger. I was in such good care and all that stuff. I just knew I wasn't right. Coach over here, this can be an unhealthy lifestyle, right? Coaching, you, you're traveling a lot. You're well, it depends out. on the level of players you have. So well, if, if you got good players, it's not near as stressful. No truth. I mean, that's absolutely true. But is is this something where it has made you think about the end of your coaching career? Y yes, I think that's a, a very fair question. I think the last uh, 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 several weeks, I've been able to reflect on a lot of things. Okay. Uh, 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 the one thing I can tell you without question, I miss my job. I love my job, and I want to do my job for a long time. That's what is positive. Uh, uh, now, for me to be as effective doing that, I think I have to, you know, wake up a little bit and, and, and maybe do some things from, from a, a lifestyle standpoint, a personal habit standpoint, that I've been very, very, very inconsistent with my entire adult life. So, so, and I said that jokingly earlier, you know, can you imagine a doctor telling you you need to lose weight, eat right, and exercise, you know? And, and, and I've been told that a long time, but I'm taking that serious for the first time I probably have in, 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 in my life. So, so uh, but to answer your question, all this did from a job standpoint was reconfirm how much I love doing what I do. Coach, a couple for you. First one being being able to find closure when you didn't coach the last game. And, you know, yeah. even if you had, you're going to have 
plays come back in your head and, and replay them, but did you feel like you were able to get closure even though you didn't call the shots that last one? Well, first of all, I thought Norm and our staff did a great job. I mean, they, they you know they coached the first four games, and I was thinking this for Norm. You know, uh, 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 we had a lot of quad one wins, uh, uh, and you know they they say that's important uh, uh, in selection and that kind of stuff, which it is. But you know, Norm coached three of uh, 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 three of those. You know, he had Duke, he had West Virginia, and he had uh, uh, Iowa State. So so. He did a great job in the games that are 50-50 type games, uh, uh, or, or maybe not 50-50, but, but the most competitive games. Uh, so we were in great hands. The reason that we weren't successful against Arkansas had nothing to do, in my opinion, of me not being there. Uh, 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 now, do I th think, could I have helped or done this or well, I think everybody would think that. I think, I think the thirteenth man on the bench would think, well, if he give me a chance, I could have, I could have made a play to help us win. I think, I think everybody would think that. But uh, 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 I actually, uh, uh, Dave, I'm, I'm okay with how the the closure aspect of it, of how it ended, because uh, uh, I knew this that those kids, whatever their ceiling was, they got about as close to it as they possibly could this year. And, and I don't want to use the word overachieve. I never like overachieve because overachieve makes it sound like they did something they weren't capable of doing. They were obviously capable of doing it or they wouldn't have done it. But to win this league uh, and have those, those, those young guys compete at the level they did over a period of time, over a course of months, uh, uh, I, I'll remember that and that'll be my closure more so than what could have happened on the last possession of the last game. Second question, uh, even though other coaches may love you. Uh, they may you try to use this against you. You know, Bill's not going to coach again. He's not going to be the same. Have you spent some time with damage control, future recruits on everything's fine, I'm going to be okay, you can come here and, and you know, I'm going to be your coach in two years? Well, the whole thing is that's you guys' job to get that out today. So, so, so uh, hopefully, that, hopefully that'll be the case. I haven't had to address this with one recruit. Now, my assistant coaches have addressed it. They've been asked that, uh, uh, but in large part just because of, you know, rumors out there on, on social media, Twitter, or, or, or whatever. But uh, um, we've dealt with negative recruiting for a while now, and I don't even consider this to be anything that will be hard to address whatsoever, Dave. Yeah, Neil. Coach, how tough was it to see Jalen and the guys? I mean, we, we saw them in the locker room, how emotional they were. How tough was it not to be there with them in the huddle and helping them out? Well, I, I, I think that's, that's, that's the whole point. I, you know, I, I've always taken great pride in, in uh, enjoying the moment when it counts the most. Uh, you know, if, if the game's tied with four minutes left, if, if you were going to – uh, 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 you know, register or check out my fun level, it would be at a 10 with the game tied with four minutes left. And early in the game, it may be at a four. So I love that moment. And not to be able to share with them uh, uh, the most important moments, which is are those same moments that Jalen loves and the same moments that Juan love. Uh, uh, more than anybody else, I, I, that 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 was hard. I, I don't want to. I don't want to say I feel like I let them down, uh, uh, because I don't think that's really fair. But certainly, those thoughts have gone through my mind a lot because they bust their butt for this place for so long, and 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 bring so much joy to so many by by their uh, uh, competitive level for years. I certainly wanted to add to that and not take away from it. Bill, you mentioned just that this at least prompts you to think about the end. Was there a time where you thought that you would coast your last game or at least considered that possibility? Absolutely not. But when you say think about the end, uh, uh, I think it does uh, 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 prompt anybody to think about the end. But my end, I don't even see the oncoming train down the track uh, uh, right now. My, uh, when, when I think of the end, you think of it getting closer. When I think of the end now, after sitting out and not doing this for a while, I think of it being further away. Then you called it an episode. I'm wondering what details you'd be willing to share about what exactly did prompt you to, to go get this checked out. 
well, I, 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 I probably hadn't been feeling great for a couple of days, but I just didn't feel myself. I had, I had tightness in my chest. I had uh, some balance issues. Uh, 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 you know, I, I just didn't feel right. The, I don't know if you guys were there at, at T-Mobile that Wednesday. I think it was that Wednesday. I spoke to you guys. I went to the hospital soon after that. So, I, so you guys saw me. I wasn't totally out of it when I was talking to you guys. But, you know, there's just something about just not, 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 not quite being yourself. And I, and I recognize that. And, and uh, uh, you know, balance and, 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 uh, and, and you know, just kind of some uh, unknown tightness or pain that I'd never experienced before. I just thought it was best to get it checked out. After what your dad went through, did that help you maybe wake up and say, look, I can't push this off even though it's March? Uh, I don't think I thought like that, Neil, because uh, my dad would tell me I should push it off, and then he would have never pushed it off a day. You know, he, he was one of those guys, do as I say, not as I do. You know, uh, 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 and I think we are all like that to an extent. Uh, but I do think the one thing that uh, – has impacted me more from what I learned from him is how stress can negatively impact a life and 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 especially at key moments and so I wanted to at least in my mind and from what the doctor said try to eliminate as much as that when I'm going through a period of time where I don't need to have that now they didn't say anything about moving forward. I mean, I'll, I know I'll have stress. I, that 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 that's not what I'm worried about moving forward. As long as my body's capable of handling, and they just thought right at that moment that probably would not be the best thing. Bill, right at that very point, I mean, it, do you, would you say until this, you sort of always figured you just put stress in a compartment and you know you don't don't even think about it. I mean, I, I just wonder if if you are going to have to reassess what that's all, all about. I I I, I think that. Uh, Vahe, that's that's probably something that I well, there's no question I will do that. I need to uh, uh, reassess what that's all about, but I think we all do too. I, I I've always thought that stress affects everybody else, but it doesn't affect me. And I've always thought, no matter what anybody's got, you know, you could put it on my shoulders, and I how handle it, whatever the situation would be. I think. Uh, 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 I think, you know, under the last, you know, several years, we've been under some stress uh, uh, that, that, you know, I think a lot of that will be removed, hopefully, in, a, in, a, in, a, in the near future. So, so I feel good about where I'm at. And, and, and the procedure that they did is a very common procedure. It's not like that's going to impact anyone's life negatively. All it could do is add to the quality of life. Uh, uh, but... Uh, uh, but it needed to be done according to the docs, and so I'm glad they knocked that out. And, and uh, I was probably very fortunate and lucky that there was a, a, a chain of events that happened that, that encouraged me to go get checked out. And then when I got checked out, you know, they just handled it all there at once. And you mentioned having the conviction, you know, maybe more than ever, at least in recent years, about how much you love your job and how, how much mm -hmm. longer you want to go. Was that at all a process or, I mean, a, a switch flipping or was it just, I, I realize this as I'm in the hospital. No, no, no. I'd say it, it was a process. I, I didn't realize it when I was in the hospital. And I, I don't think it's fair for me to realize it while we were still playing because I was still coaching team. I'm talking about when I got away from it. And, and, and uh, okay, what are you going to do today? Well, you know what? i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have breakfast and then I'm going to uh, – sit around and go for a walk maybe and then come back and watch TV or read or something like that. I realized then, no, this is not what I need to be doing. I need to be on the phone. I need to be living in the portal uh, 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 right now, and, and, and that's what we're doing. So, uh, uh, and we've had a lot of, uh, of shakeup with our team, which is great. It's not only – it's a great opportunity for those kids. Like I saw where Cam going to Boise – I mean, that's great. He'll have a chance to go there and, 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 and impact and, and do all that stuff. And, and, and when kids make decisions, those, those, they're making those because it's a better opportunity for them. But what that also does, it gives us an opportunity to address our needs, too. And, and, and you guys know, uh, as well as anybody that covered us, you know, we have some needs that we certainly can address. 
Coach, last year at the Final Four, you were asked a lot about, with the retirement of Coach K, but you being one of the spokespersons now for the coaching fraternity. Uh, given what has happened in the last few weeks, do you find yourself anticipating advising younger coaches about healthier lifestyles? Well, I don't know if I'm the exact person. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the picture of, of, uh, of uh, healthy eating and exercising that young coaches would probably listen to. But I, I, I do think I could maybe offer some things that, that, that would share with them that, you know, uh, uh, what you do at a young age can certainly impact what you're doing at an older age. And, and, and I was probably one of those guys that never thought I would get to an older age. And just for the record, I'm not old, uh, 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 but I'm older. So, 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 uh, uh, so I, I don't know what role I'll have in that. I hadn't thought that through at all. But, but certainly, uh, 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 basketball is important. Basketball is a way of life at Kansas. But the basketball is a way of life at Kansas, and how I can impact it isn't close to as much if I'm not feeling well and healthy is how I can impact it if I am. So my goal is to take this place to a whole different level that we've never been to before. And we've been to a really high level. And I know I need to have my energy and I need to be, be, be healthy and feeling good in order for us to do that. And, and, and I'm, I'm believing this spring is the first step to us getting to that level. Bill, have you been cleared to travel like normal in recruiting? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been cleared. I can, you know, if I wanted to go power lift right now, I can go power lift. <laughs> if I wanted to, okay. So, so I, I, I can do, I can do any, I, I can, I can do whatever. You know, I, I probably still bunt it off the tee, but, but uh, I did that before, uh, before this episode anyway. Have you been uh, touched or surprised by the reaction of your peers? I assume your phone, probably the last month has been insane. Yeah, yeah I, you know, calls not as much. A lot of text, you know, I, a, lot, a lot, I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of texts. And so, so uh, I've, I've, I've still got like a, uh, I think it was this morning, 161 text uh, uh, that I haven't even thought about reading yet, you know, let alone the ones that you click on and you look at and, you know, you, you really can't respond. So, 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 you know, so, so, uh, and that's after five weeks. So, yeah, I, I've been over, overwhelmed with that. It's been it's 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 been nice, but it's time to move forward. I'm a couple questions for you right here. Can you talk about the stress level when you're not able to be out on the court when you're having to watch and not be able to make the decisions? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I don't know how parents do it. Uh, uh, seriously, I mean, and, and, and how can really invested fans do it? Uh, uh, first of all, uh, uh, when 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 you when you have no control, it's hard to be objective. So even me, I found out that we got ripped off on every call when I'm not there. You know, if I'm coaching during the game, I'm like going, no, no, that was a 50-50 call. That was a good call. But, you know, you watch it on TV, you watch it from the stands, you're like, oh, my God, we're just get, we, we can't get a break. Uh, uh, but, but the thing about it is, as, as a coach, I, I will say this. The best coaches uh, uh, don't have near as much control as what people think we have because the players have been trained and taught to play a certain way and you trust your players to play that way. Okay, so a lot of people could say, well, God dang, they ran this great play. No, we didn't. We've been doing that for four months and they just know in this situation, you get the ball here, you throw it inside, and the guy shoots a jump hook. Okay, so, so, so it's, we, the, the best coaches don't have as much control as what you the fans think they do. Now, out of a timeout, that's a little bit different and stuff like that. But as a person in a hotel room, you have no control, that which, which I think it makes it much harder to watch. When, when, we, when we played at, at uh, in, uh, where was it, Indy, Indianapolis against Duke in the, in the uh, Champions Classic, you know, I couldn't go to the game. So I'm in a hotel room, and the game was late. Okay, because, you know, it was at East Coast time in Indy, so the game started about 10 o'clock Central, so 11 o'clock East Coast time. And, and there were several times during the game, I don't have the front desk calling to tell me to sh shut up. I've got people in the hallways down the hall 
saying shut up during the game because you got no control. Uh, 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 so, so I do think it's much harder to be a fan. I respect that more now than I probably did before. You talked about elevating this program, continuing to raise the bar here at KU. We know that there's renovations that are coming yeah. to Allen Fieldhouse. There's a huge part of that. Can you talk about that, a timetable, anything about that moving forward? Well, we're, we're, our, our renovations with Allen Fieldhouse will not be completed this summer will be completed next summer. So so we'll get about 40 or 50 percent of it done, if I'm not, isn't that about right? 40 or 50 percent done this summer. The following 50 or 60 percent will be next summer. So we're 18 months away from feeling the full impact of Allen Fieldhouse. And and, and if you can imagine, like to me, I, I, I'm, I'm biased. Uh, uh, I can't say that Allen Fieldhouse is the greatest place ever because I haven't been everywhere else. But it's the greatest place I've ever been. So, but 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 this is going to 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 amp that feeling up tremendously, and the fan experience is going to be off the charts uh, uh, for a building that's you know almost seventy years old, and you have the modern amenities of a of a building that was just open. It's going to be fantastic, and then they're also renovating our office area. So when you look at practice facilities, when you look at housing, which we have the, uh, as good as there is in the country or better, when you look at the, the arena, which is so special, and we're not going to take anything away from what it feels like to play there, uh, 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 you, you know, offices, you know, uh, our NIL program is, is, you know, we're not where we need to be or anything, but we're making great grounds on that. I feel like that, that, that right now moving forward, uh, uh, when you say, what do we need to be successful? Uh, we got it. In the past, when you'd ask me, what do we need to be successful? Well, we need to get this, this, this done. So I feel as good about it as, as I ever have. We've been good for a long time, but I can't imagine us taking a step backwards, maybe sideways, but definitely not backwards. Yeah. Hey, Bill. Uh, yeah, Glad to see you're doing better. Uh, and uh, a basketball question. The way too early basketball polls are out, they have you guys look like a top 10 team. Just wondering if you can give us a way too early state of Kansas basketball. Well, that is a way too early state because if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, you lose, you know, you know, with the starters that you're going to lose, even though it hadn't been announced yet, but we're going to lose starters. I know Grady announced, but 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 Kevin and, and, and Jay Will haven't made announcements yet. And, and, and I don't know exactly what – they are, but I know the direction in which they're leaning. Uh, uh, we got to get some work done in the portal. We, we, we you know, we, we, we've got four commitments, and those four commitments I'm excited about. I mean, we're, we got good players coming, but you return Juan, you return KJ, uh, uh, who two incredibly important pieces that every championship team needs. You know, you got Ernest, you got Zuby. Uh, 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 Kyle, we, we, we still don't know exactly what the situation is with Kyle, but everybody else is gone, which creates opportunity now for us to go out and try to recruit three of the best players in America to come in here and fill those spots. So uh, uh, we've got work to do before we're a top 10 team, but I'm, 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 I'm really hopeful, you know, within weeks, uh, uh, everybody would say they should be ranked higher than a top 10 team. So. You mentioned filling those three spots. What exactly are you looking for? I think we need, uh, obviously, we, we, we need some, some height on the perimeter that can shoot, you know, hopefully playmaking, athleticism. You know, we want guys that shoot 40% from three, 60% from two, and 90% from the line, and they're more athletic than everybody else, and they never turn it over. Okay, that's, that's what we want, okay? And, 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 then, and then we need a big guy. We need a big guy to go out and get 20 and 10. You know, so if we could get that done, then I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. But but uh, uh, but cer but certainly, I, f I feel like we're in on, in on some good kids. Yeah. And with Grady in particular, just what was the conversation like with him? I really didn't have conversation with Grady. That 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 deal was done a long time ago. So 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 I I I, I, I talked to his mo mother and father for a long time for uh, a couple hours. We visited, had great talk and everything. But the reality of it is, it's time for him to go. I mean, he's projected to be. Top eleven, right now is that about right? Huh? Eight to eleven. Have you guys looked what eight to eleven pays next year? In the in in I mean so so and then you add twenty percent on top of that. 
because everybody can make 20% more than what their base would be. So, so I mean, it's time for him to go. Uh, uh, he did exactly what we hoped he, he would do. I'll be, I'll be candid. I didn't know he was a one-year guy until probably we played Duke. And when he, when he made those, those last three plays at the end of that game, he did it off the three. He did it catching a lob and moving without the ball. And then he did it uh, 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 in, a, in a drive with the ball in his hands. I'm like going, well, he just showed it. He just showed a glimpse of what he can be. So, and his best ball is so far down the road, but, but uh, uh, he, it, it's time. Jay Will, it wasn't time. It's time for Jay Will now. It's time. He can't be better than being a first team All American averaging 20 points a, 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 a game. I mean, he, he's done exactly what, what, what uh, uh, he dreamt to do. So, uh, you know, it's, it's time with, the, with him. But what is it about the job that has at least mentally re energized you that? You know, you, it prompts you to say you want to do this for a long time. Uh, uh, you play golf? I don't. What do you do as a hobby? Um, play with the kids. This is this is okay. The only play with the kids. That's great. You take playing the kids away from you for a month. Would you miss your kids? Absolutely. Would you want to play with them more than you ever have? Absolutely. That's exactly how I feel right now. That's good. And then, do you still have limitations on what you're able to do? Just no, I have no whatever. limitations. None. Uh, 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 I, I have some some self-imposed limitations. Uh, a marathon is not in the mix, and, and there's some things like that. But no, I have no limitations on, on on physical exertion or anything like that. Coach, I had the chance to talk to Ocha after I played in Oklahoma City about a month ago, and I asked him what his favorite Bill Self story was. He told me it was in the championship final last year when DeWan stepped out of bounds. And he told me that was the first time he saw you where you didn't know what to do, whether to foul, whether let the play continue. What do you remember from that moment? I remember that I was totally calm and cool, and I, I, I think Ochai's totally off base on that. Uh, that, 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 that moment, uh, to answer your question, I told the kids to foul. I spent five minutes telling them how to foul. And then, the, you know, uh, uh, do you guys remember the show Hoosiers when, when they, they – uh, uh, he 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 draws a play up for somebody other than Jimmy Chitwood and and all the guys are looking in the huddle like this when he said do it and then Jimmy said I'll make the shot and then he changed the play that's exactly but it was Jalen Wilson Jalen Wilson said no no we ain't doing that we're gonna screw it up we ain't doing that I said well what did we do and he said we're guarding them we're gonna play it out we're gonna guard them and so so Ochai's right on that part uh, 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 they did they they. Uh, if I, I knew what I wanted to do, but at that moment I probably looked like I was totally clueless because the players ran that huddle, without question. Coach, you talked about Jay Will and McCuller. Um, timing for, for Wilson is obviously good for all the reasons that you said. McCuller is kind of an interesting study in that he's got a COVID year to spend. Mm -hmm. Have you had conversations with him on how by staying Jalen elevated his game and yeah. Kevin could – Offensively, uh, perimeter game. There's there's ways that he could grow his game because right now it doesn't look. He'll get in somebody's training camp. It could be a two way contract guy, but right now yeah. uh, he could improve his status by staying. Well, I, th I think there's no question that that Kevin McCuller could help himself by staying. I think in his mind he was a five year guy. You know, for him to come back and make it's his sixth year. So so so, and I've talked with Kev. He knows. I've talked to uh, his mother and father. They know. Uh, uh, I've talked to people close in his camp. They know. And uh, uh, Kevin will make the decision when the time's right. But but he's certainly going to go through the process and and see what they say. Uh, the other thing is, uh, uh, you know, two way guys do pretty good. You know, they do they, they do they do really well. When you if you're they don't do well compared to a, an NBA guaranteed salary. But they do really well compared to going from the, 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 the uh, a collegian to actually making some money. And so, you know, last year he had two or three opportunities that were guaranteed to him to be a two-way guy. So the, 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 there'll be other opportunities, but he'll get in the camp, he'll get drafted. There'll be a, a lot of things that 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 uh, uh, are out there for him that he's just got to investigate for himself. Uh, uh, we're approaching it like everybody's gone. I think you have to. 
And so we're, we're out there trying to recruit, 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 although there's been no decision that's been made on what, you know, he's doing. So. All right, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good one.